this is One Word TV, and we bring you everything you need to know about the new Israel ceasefire proposal announced by U.S. President Joe Biden. U.S. President Joe Biden on Friday laid out a three-phase ceasefire proposal from Israel to Palestinian Islamic group Hamas to end the war in Gaza that has killed tens of thousands and caused a humanitarian crisis. The offer calls for a ceasefire, the release of Israeli hostages and Palestinian prisoners, and the reconstruction of Gaza. A senior U.S. official said the four-and-a-half-page plan had been sent to Hamas on Thursday for a review, and that it was almost identical to a proposal the militant group had already accepted. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office said on Friday that it backed the plan. Here are the three phases as described by U.S. President Joe Biden in a speech by U.S. officials held later. Phase 1, ceasefire, limited hostage release, and Israeli withdrawal. Biden said the first phase of Israel's offer would last for six weeks and would include a full and complete ceasefire, withdrawal of Israeli forces from all populated areas of Gaza, and the release of a number of hostages, including women, the elderly, the wounded in exchange for release of hundreds of Palestinian prisoners. Biden added that in this phase, Palestinian civilians will return to their homes and neighborhoods in all areas of Gaza, while humanitarian assistance will increase to 600 trucks carrying aid into Gaza every day. With a ceasefire, that aid would be safely and effectively distributed to all who need it. Hundreds of thousands of temporary shelters, including housing units, could be delivered by the international community. Biden added that the first phase could begin immediately after a deal is reached. The first phase will also include talks between Israel and Hamas to get to the next stage of the proposal. Phase 2, release of all hostages and full Israeli withdrawal. Biden called the second phase a permanent end to hostilities. However, he added that the negotiations to arrive at the second phase could take longer than six weeks as there were going to be differences between both sides. He said, Israel will want to make sure its interests are protected, but the proposal says if negotiations take longer than six weeks from phase one, the ceasefire will still continue for as long as negotiations continue. He added that the United States, Qatar, and Egypt will ensure that the talks continue during this period until all agreements are reached to start the second phase. The second phase will see the release of all remaining hostages who are alive, including male soldiers, while Israeli forces will withdraw from Gaza, according to Biden. He added that as long as Hamas lives up to its commitment, a temporary ceasefire will become the permanent end of hostilities. Phase 3, Reconstruction and Return of Bodies In the third phase, Biden said a major reconstruction plan for Gaza would commence and any final remains of hostages who had been killed would be returned to their families. Biden said Israel had devastated Hamas forces over the past eight months, adding that at this point, Hamas no longer is capable of carrying out another October 7th attack. In the deal to rebuild Gaza, Biden said Arab nations and the international community will also participate in a manner that does not allow Hamas to rearm. He added that Washington will work with its partners to rebuild homes, schools, and hospitals in Gaza, where the war had displaced nearly 2.3 million population. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One World TV for more updates.